and this is what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about today 11 ways a covert narcissist punishes you. Some of these tactics are recognizable as punishments. Others are so subtle that with a little plausible deniability, the covert narcissist completely evades detection. The covert narcissist doesn't mind that you don't know that you're being punished. But creating drama and chaos in your life is its own reward. They get to just sit back and watch the havoc as they've wreaked, unfold and destroy the area, destroy everyone. That's their goal. Number one, number one. The silent treatment with an overt narcissist, the silent treatment is usually obvious. They refuse to speak to you for hours, days, even weeks. Sometimes it's while living in the same house. I can relate to that. And other times it's while living apart, ghosting you. I can relate to that too. Refusing to communicate and maybe even blocking you on your devices. But with a covert narcissist, it can be so much more subtle. They may just be quieter than usual and insist that nothing is wrong. They might be avoiding you in the home or have earbuds in so you can't even try and talk to them. They might even act like they didn't hear you with a dismissive tone and a statement. What did you say? Did you say something? Number two, the put downs. The covert narcissist may put down, may put you down more the way they devalue you. This may take, be, be in a joke format, or it may hit a close to home, a backhanded compliment, a criticism, a correction. That's what you're looking at there. Number three, weaponized incompetence. The narcissist may intentionally do tasks poorly to devalue you, exert power and control over you to cause drama and chaos for you to resolve. They love watching you run around, fix what they've accidentally done. Number four, undermining your competence. The covert narcissist definitely does not want you to experience success while they are punishing you. That would be like giving someone ice, t ice cream during a timeout. They will make you doubt yourself. Not only your competence, but your willingness to see the truth, to be open to feedback. They may even get you to believe that you are, you are a narcissist. Number five, sabotage, right? So this is a favorite covert narcissist go-to strategy. They sabotage you while you are none the wiser. Often they don't even, they don't even consciously do it. They love watching the drama unfold and the chaos that ensues. A covert narcissist may break something that you love, delete your calendar, or not give you an important message, or even take the, take the outfit you were, you're, you're planning on wearing to a big event, to the dry cleaners so it's not available when you need it. That's the sort of thing a covert narcissist would do. Number six, revealing your private information. The key here is that the covert narcissist will, will drop, drop and let slip something seemingly innocently, but you know that that secret, your best friend's secret that you made, or you've kept, you've kept a secret into him and he's promised not to tell anybody. Well, that covert narcissist will drop it out to their best friend. They know, they know. Or even you've been looking for a new job. The covert narcissist will drop this into a cohort to your coworker. Oh yeah, your boss will like it, won't you? Don't, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't your mum like it? You, you're looking for a new job? Does he looking for a new job? The covert narcissist will let slip, tell your boss that you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to get a new job and mention it just as a slip of the tongue and as a party where everyone can see right in front of everybody. We won't be speaking to the boss directly, but we'll be speaking to somebody else in the area and then the boss will overhear it. And he'll, be, and he'll just be saying, oh, I was just trying to be supportive. I didn't realise, I didn't realise. Sorry, I'm sorry. Number seven trying to get you in trouble. The covert narcissist uses this one with number six. It's like a dual strategy to create extreme chaos and distress in your life. They dropped knowledge of the best friend's secrets. Now your best friend's furious with you. They've dropped the info about your job search too and that's, that's slipped out to the boss. Now they've, risked, now, now that they've told your mum and that's gonna be like, God, this is the start of the smear campaign and it's hurt you like and you're like, just chill, man, stop it. You weren't comfortable telling her for whatever reason, and that's why, obviously. Uh, number eight, 
the good old gaslighting. The covert narcissist will gaslight you, convincing you that you and your memories and the versions of the reality that you that are real are not real. The results are devastating. You uh, worry that something's really wrong with you. You may even seek medical attention, and you give over your power to control to and control to the narcissist, trusting their version of reality more than your own. Dangerous times. Number nine, excess control. When the covert narcissist is trying to punish you, they will take extra control where they where they can. They want to they want to they want to be relevant and dominant, even while appearing to be the weak victim. Now, this may look like keeping information from you, moving joint finances to another unknown location, or withholding sex. Even that that's even another one. Number ten, right? So this is either going to be verbal or physical abuse. Even covert narcissists may resort to extreme overt abuse. This tends to happen when they are truly desperate, when their mask has been slipped from their from their from from them, and they, everyone they fear that everyone's going to suss them out. And this the need for very survival is their their, their own persona that is at risk. It's in these moments that they're extremely extremely dangerous. Be careful. Seven a smear campaign. When the covert narcissist is extremely desperate, when they feel their identity is at risk, they may choose to punish you with a smear campaign. When they can go no longer, when they can no longer control you, they can seek to control the way others see you. The covert narcissist might call the police on you or provoke a reactive abuse while recording it or convince their flying monkeys of ridiculous allegations against you. Depending on the context, this is what a great punishment is, is because it robs you of your family and your friends and you're standing in a community all alone. Your legal rights are stuffed and you've only got your job. You could even lose that too. Drop a comment or let me know if you've experienced something uh, similar to this to a covert narcissist. Let me know, I'd like to show, i like to understand what people have gone through and see if there's any similarities there. If you need support or anything going through a breakup in family court, feel free to give me a call, helping people all the time. We've also got a number of online courses going live now as well. In touch, stay safe. And um, if you recognise you're under abuse, you know, if you're in an abusive relationship, it's safer to get out. Stay out.